This is a gift I've received from my sister and brother-in-law. They picked it up in Vietnam, where they've been staying for the last few months, and we'll head back to after the holidays here. It's Christmas Eve. I want to make some rice. They said, I just got off the phone with them because I was asking, how do you incorporate this into the rice to make sticky rice? And uh, it smells great. And it's very like gummy. Oh, it's even, it's got, okay, it's different on the inside. It's like a sandwich. There's like stuff on the inside and then there's this green layer around it. And it's coconutty. So I'm wondering if this sort of almost is meant to make like a sweet rice dish. I'm not so sure. <laughs> but to me, I feel like this needs moisture to melt and maybe some heat or something. I uh, was gonna try to use Google Translate on this box, so maybe I'll still do that because I do not, I cannot read Vietnamese right now. Maybe I'll get there one day. But it's cool. Maybe it's almost supposed to represent, look at that, isn't that like a banana leaf? Is it, it's almost like a banana leaf. And it smells coconutty and just good. It smells great. It smells like, yeah, I guess I mostly smell coconut and maybe some other fruit. I think I'm gonna make rice. I have some, I, th I believe it's jasmine. I've got some jasmine rice. So I think I'll cook the rice, um, just water and a little touch of salt. And then, and then maybe when the rice is nearly done, I will place this patty on top sort of let it warm up and steam. And then I'm thinking once it's all done cooking, I mix it. But I feel like mixing cooked rice is not very good. Like that's what makes it gummy, but we want sticky. So my other thought was to add this into the pot and cook it all together. Um, like add this in to the uncooked rice. I'm gonna try to translate the box here. But part of me makes me think that this has no directions. But maybe that is directions on the top line. Then it looks like we have some description. I just see protein, 4.5%. De Jong, 30 to 40%. Let's get Google Translate. Well, got a little bit of a translation. Definitely no instructions, at least not on this side, and I don't see, this looks like contact info, the main label of the company. It says, in it, when I, as I was using Google Translate, it, these, these words were coming out to mean a few different things. Sometimes it was food products, which makes a lot of sense. Sometimes it was family products. Sometimes it was cosmetic products which is, I think it's kind of cool. Maybe this company, it looks on their Facebook. I was actually able to type this in. I think I typed in this and this without any of the uh, uh, accents on any of the lettering there. Maybe accent isn't the right term, but. Um, it came out, uh, I found their Facebook and it looks like they make all sorts of interesting and these are definitely meant as like gifts and you can tell i mean it's kind of a fancy box and long story short i didn't get any great ideas further on how this should be treated and how to utilize it to make sticky rice all i know is it's meant to make sticky rice or that's what i've been told i kind of want to go in for just a little bite of it and i'll let you know how it is do you want to see me eat it hi It's um exactly like the ingredients say. It's got starch and gumminess, and then it's a balanced flavor of coconut and vanilla, and it's quite nice like that. But 
I think, I think I'm gonna just go in. I think I'm gonna blop, blop, blop it in. I hope this is also like the right amount for how much rice I'm making. Maybe that's another good, I did, this is at least, it's about two cups of rice. But let's, um, maybe, I don't see any reason I can't split this. Just do a pork. Look, those are like coconut flakes in there. What's up with my thumbnail? It's so long. I'm the one in charge of that. Okay, I'm just going for all of it. I want it all in there. I've decided. Camera. Okay, so it's going to go in and cook with the rice. And hopefully my idea is that it will all dissolve and get those flavors and those textures and the starches will all get, um, you know, evenly mixed throughout and that this will just turn out to be a perfect and beautiful bring it bring that heat down a smidge perfect and beautiful flavorful somewhat sweet coconutty rice pudding not really i don't want it to be a pudding i do want it to be like rice that's sticky but we'll see we'll see what we've created okay i'll check back in with you well we're getting into the cooking. Look at that, it's really melted into there. Looks like some green slime. I hope I didn't, I might have to huck a little more water in there. Put the kettle right here. I have not been cooking rice very well lately. I can tell it's definitely not cooked enough, right? You can see how the rice doesn't have the right. Now I've just buried it in water again. That's perfect. Okay. Off the heat. I was just watching something about Ghostbusters. And something about this. I think this is a long coconut strand. Yes, that is what that is. I'm quite sure. <laughs> What's the right tool for stirring sticky rice? I think it's this little spatula right here. Okay. Oh, looks like I did a decent job of cooking this rice. Okay, it's really gummy. I'm either making some Vietnamese people very um, proud right now or very upset. I don't think there's an in-between. I feel like I need to stir it really well, this stuff. Look at it though. Oh yeah, that's sticky stuff. both of my hands to give this a great stir. I think I actually cooked this rice properly. It's funny because I love cooking, but something like rice, I mess up. Smells of that smell, which is a little bit now, especially now that it's mixed with the smell of rice. It's got a bit of a, yeah, it, it is turning it all green. So either my ratio is correct or you're supposed to dilute it a lot more, but there's nothing wrong with this kind of green color as far as food and being appetizing. Oh, 
I wonder how it's supposed to be eaten. Probably you should pour some sweetened condensed milk over this or something. <laughs> I keyed. Maybe not, you know, that, that my maybe is very much. Oh, it's sticky. Okay. All mixed up. Give it a try. Voila! This is just jasmine rice. I'm pretty sure it's jasmine. Yes! Sure is sticky. It tastes exactly like it smelled and how it tasted on its own, but now it's just diluted um, by rice. It's nice. But obviously, you know, it's very plain right now. But it does have a subtle coconut, almost banana flavor too. And I don't know if the banana flavor is just my brain's association with coconut or if they really did put some kind of banana flavor in here. In other words, it's pretty subtle. But I feel like it does sort of have a banana coconut. And the fact that there's this banana leaf around the outside really makes me think that like maybe my theory is that traditionally this would have just been a product made and then packaged with a banana leaf like folded in a banana leaf and then you would gift that to people and they would make this sticky rice and maybe it's like a holiday tradition i'm completely making all this up shooting in the dark here with this vietnamese product but It's totally fun, and it totally made green, sticky rice. And um, I guessed on how it should be incorporated. I probably could have gotten away with adding it to uh, to the rice after it was all cooked. But this definitely helped make it easier to integrate, I believe, because it got really melty and gummy. Then it was able to be mixed in, because it's definitely got quite a bit of sugar, you know? It's almost... And then it's got the gummy stuff, I think, from certain legumes or something. They're adding that into there. I feel like this could definitely go either way. You could serve this with savory food, and it would be like a nice, like, sweet rice to go on the side of some, like, barbecue or whatever. And then it could definitely also just probably be topped with fruit and sweetened condensed milk and be like a really yummy rice-based dessert. Um, I don't have really either of those things. I don't have any barbecued meat or fruit and I don't have sweetened condensed milk either. So I'm just eating it all on its own right now. Thank you, Maddie and Trevor, for the family products. <laughs>